Hello there everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I hope you're all doing great and I'm very very happy to see you here. Today's video will be a reading video about uh, a military drill or exercise that is ongoing at the moment in Sweden called Aurora 2023. I have had many viewers ask me questions about this military exercise drill. Uh, what is this? Uh, what is going on? So today's video will be about that. And to do this reading I'm going to use my tarot cards, oracle cards, gypsy cards and some dice. But before we begin I just have to give some information about this military drill. And it's a very, very big drill exercise where more than 13 countries, mainly NATO countries, are doing a big, big um, exercise, military exercise in, on Swedish uh, ground. And they began uh, the 17th of April and this say that will be ongoing until around 11 of May. And the strange thing with this big military exercise is it's mainly NATO countries and Sweden is not a NATO country uh, that is doing this trail and um, it's the United States that are like holding in this. They are, um, a little bit like the bosses over this trail. So what is going on? Why do they have all those countries involved, NATO countries in this trail, on Swedish ground? And Sweden are not a NATO country. It's like neutral at the moment, as they say. And uh, it's involving more than 26,000 uh, persons, military and some civilian uh, also in this military drill and it's uh, like moving from north to south and on different places in Sweden and they are like simulation of a foreign power that are trying to invade Sweden and they want to make some exercise around that, how to defend themselves in case of a foreign power and are trying to is trying to invade Sweden. And such a big exercise of military drill has not happened in Sweden uh, for more than 30 years. So what is really behind this story? Is it just a military exercise? Nothing special behind? Or is it something else that is playing behind the scenes? Well, on this question I'm going to look into today. And also I want to mention for all of you wonderful viewers, I want to thank you so much for all of your support, for your comments, for your sharing, for your mails. I read them, almost all of them, and I'm very grateful. I'm sorry if I cannot answer them. It's um, a lot <laughs> and it's difficult for me to find the time, even for my normal daily um, daily life. Uh, what more? I also have many questions here about could you do this country, could you look into that question and so on. And many times I have already made a video about this country or this question. So before you ask a question about a country or a question in general, please look down the video list. There is a big chance that Maybe this country is already there. And even if the country is um, time frame for that country or maybe overdue, it still can be important because time frames, as I mentioned many times before, are not fixed. Uh, things may occur much later than this uh, three months or six months. So don't hang up, get stuck on the, those time frames even if the video is further uh, back in, in, in time. Another thing uh, that could be of importance, uh, and that is that a lot of things are going on at the moment 
in um, China and uh, Taiwan and the sea around China. And I can recommend, maybe you can look again at the video I made about China and Taiwan. It seems like something is going on, also what I said in that video. So it could be of interest for those uh, who want to know a little bit more. Well, let's start about this military drill in Sweden, Aurora 2023. And I just need to shuffle my cards a little bit and ask the powers, the forces to be with us so we can get as good and accurate answers as possible. What is going on? Is it something uh, like a cover-up for something else? Or is it just a military drill as uh, is mentioned in uh, mainstream media, in the TV and TV news and newspapers? And then TV and the newspaper don't talk so much about this. They are quite quiet about this Aurora 2023. I was a little bit surprised since I thought there will be a lot of information in the newspaper and of the news every day about this. Since it's so big and so many countries and so many people involved. But they are quiet. They are quiet. Mm. Let's see here. Aurora cards oops this one to come and one gypsy card and some dice What can we find here? Uh, we have stay optimistic, ground, car, child, and a moon. And then we have the strength, queen of swords, the sun, coins, nine of coins, and nine of cups. And this uh, Aurora 2023. I don't see it like an evil operation and they are doing some good work, it looks here in, in the cards. We have military woman, queen of swords, and they're also showing their strength. And even if they're all NATO countries, uh, it still I don't see it um, as something evil in this operation, Aurora 2023. Uh, we have ground, car and child. So it could also be something with uh, connection with children, the little ones. Um, or they are putting the little ones into the sun, helping them. Um, and this operation, I don't think it's only a uh, military exercise is something more. There will come out more information about Aurora 2023, but not yet. Later on, when they are all finished with this 
military um, exercise, uh, then more information will come. But since all the cards are very positive, it's like they're helping to bring light into some um, some areas. And I don't see it as um, uh, anything of, uh, according to the cards anyway, of something evil or um, out of um, the ordinary in, in an evil way. Let's take some more cards on this. So the first lay of the cards look like it's legit, uh, this military operation. Or, yeah, it's a kind of operation, uh, but uh, we can also call it exercise, big military exercise. I'm going to take some cards on the question, is there some hidden agenda behind? This military exercise, uh, is it more to it than just an exercise? Even trains uh, between south of Sweden and Stockholm are cancelled because of it. So it's something big, yeah. Um, Aurora, is there any hidden agenda behind this? Aurora 2023. Is there any hidden agenda? Yeah, it's hidden. There's something is hidden. A beautiful lady here. Uh, heart to heart conversation. According to these cards, it's to bring some kind of stability uh, to this area. But I don't see it as a threat. I don't see it as um, a way to provoke the big bear in the east. It's something else. I have the ten of cups, I have ace of cups, stability, ten of coins, it's all positive cards. Um, a hidden agenda? Yes. Maybe they put a name as a military drill, but it's something else in the way that it is uh, maybe not the intention uh, outwards what the military drill is about. And I think they're doing good stuff behind the scenes and to be, bring some kind of stability to, um, yeah. Also, since there are many countries involved in this, um, yeah, to get more closer to those countries that are involved. Mm. But there are different kinds of militaries there are the bad ones and the good ones. I don't think the bad ones are involved in this military exercise. I don't get any evil cards or bad cards, anything like that. I think behind the scene there are some good operators. Mm. I'm going to take some last cards on Aurora 2023. And that is what can we expect from this military exercise? And uh, will there come out some news about it um, that we maybe not expected? That we may not expect? Uh, Aurora 2023. What can we expect from this big military uh, exercise? Mm. 
what can we expect from this big military exercise? Well, this military exercise cost a lot of money, but um, since so many countries are involved, it's like shared from all the countries. Mm. I also see some, there is the card from the um, storm and then the sunlight. Um, it looks like this military uh, operation is drawing some dark powers into the light and it's like cleaning up bringing some kind of stability as i said some kind of peace and they are working hard mm -hmm. of course when there's um, interruptions and there are some problems in the traffic or in different places people can get very irritated um, but there will also be uh, some kind of recompensation for those persons um, this military Aurora 2023 the whole operation will go quite smoothly I don't see any big threats from nowhere and uh, when it ends it will also end in, in peace. So I don't see this operation like a disturbance or making problem for many. According to the cards anyway. At the end of May, middle and from the middle to the end of May, that will come out some very important information regarding this uh, Aurora 2023. Um, something that we don't know today will be revealed around that time. Mm -hmm. And I don't see it as very disturbing or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I get very, very calm, very and in a way good cards um, and I don't think people should worry too much about this Aurora 2023 um, there are some good forces involved in this uh, this big uh, military exercise I'm just going to take some last cards, if there is some last words to be said, if there is anything special that I should mention here in this video. Aurora 2023. Well, they are moving on the roads and that could be a little bit problematic for people that want to travel since the many roads will be block, blocked uh, because of the military vehicles. We have the card of justice. Um, as I said, I don't think this military operation is of a bad kind. Uh, since I have justice here, it could be that some kind of military justice is done behind the scenes. Uh, 
and having this military operation as an excuse for that. Mm -hmm. And the last card is the world. Uh, it's like a good card, good justice. I'm gonna take one more card on that justice. And the justice system, the military justice, are acting in uh, in the shadows. Uh, they are hidden military justice. We have the Ermite. And the Ermite is like retreated in the cave. It doesn't really have contact with the up, outer world. So this kind of justice uh, that it brings, it's not for the public it's more of a hidden justice and uh, i think they are also looking for someone to bring justice on them and using this military operation as a double cover-up but i don't see it as something bad uh, the contrary it will come something good out of it Eventually we will know, but not yet exactly what is going on. So my words, last words here are, don't worry too much about this military, um, some kind of operation. It will soon pass, even it will be a little bit problematic on the roads. Um, it looks like it is of a good kind, mm -hmm. not controlled by the deep state anyway. Well, that was my answer for Aurora 2023. And uh, if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. And to all of you wonderful, wonderful viewers, uh, stay strong out there, take care of each other. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we're going to see each other soon again. Bye-bye.